Welcome to another exciting edition of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy, and today we're going to talk about recycling supplies. Should you do it? Now, there are some supplies that I recycle no matter what, and those are boxes. And the primary reason why is because uh, roughly 95 to 98 percent of the things that I send out, uh, they go inside of envelopes. So I very rarely use boxes. I don't really have very many of them around. So when a box comes in, I definitely do save it uh, and then use it when the time comes if somebody buys a larger uh, item from me or a, a lot from me or things like that, then I use the boxes. So those I don't have a lot of around and, and that's the reason why. Um, and you get into some boxes, you can be talking 50 cents, a dollar, even more than that, a couple of dollars a piece. So those certainly I'm not going to break down and throw away unless they're just some incredible size that there's no chance I'm ever going to use. Um, then you get down into some oddball things. Every once in a while you'll purchase something or other on eBay or purchase something or other and you'll see the packaging it's in and you'll say, wow, that's a really good idea. Um, there have been times where I've seen different sized packaging and I've said, let me look into that. And then you go you do a search and you find it and then it becomes something or other that you use regularly. Uh, so those, there's no problem at all with me recycling. But what I decided to do this morning, I had a number of items uh, that I had to pack up. And various times I purchased things off of eBay, and I, and I do always save the supplies. I save the backing board, I save the bag that it comes in. You know, if, if I buy five comic books and it comes in an overall bag to, to secure the five, I save that bag. I save the envelope, I save all that kind of stuff. Uh, I open things as, as neatly as I possibly can to be able to reuse them if need be. And so this morning I said, let me see what happens. I've got a lot of things over here that need to be packed. I've got a bunch of packing supplies, you know, recycled supplies. Let me try using those. And let me tell you, it was a disaster. Uh, you end up spending a lot more time for, for a few different reasons. Number one, as I've shown you before in videos, I've got everything assembly line. So a comic book sells, I've got my comic book bag, my comic book backer, my comic book envelope. You know, boom, 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 get it, tape it up, send it out. You know, it takes almost no time at all. I've, I've been timing myself, and roughly when I've got a fair number of items to send out, say I've got 30 items to send out, it takes about 30 minutes for me to pack them and send them out. Uh, something like that. About a minute an item is, is what it takes me to, to go and pack. Um, you know, from the bagging to the boarding to the, to the putting in the envelope to getting the uh, mailing sticker on and everything, not a sticker, it's actually, uh, I have to tape it on. I, I don't use the stickers myself. But that ends up taking about a minute per item to do uh, over a period of time. To do recycled supplies, takes much, much longer. Um, if you are going to try it, I will give you one little tip, and that's get all of your stuff out that you need to pack uh, lined up, and then take your supplies and figure out which item you're packing goes into which recycled supply. So in other words, if you pull out a six by nine envelope, you hopefully have a pile of stuff that goes in a six by nine envelope, as opposed to you pick up a comic book and then you start trying to go through the supplies to find a, a nine by 12 or an eight and a half by 11 envelope. Just takes a lot more time if you have your item and you look for the supply versus if you have the supply and find the item to put into it. That's tip number one. Uh, tip number two is you've got labels on all of those things. You're going to have to cover that label up one way or the other. Now you can use your own label to cover it up, whatever. Um, I've shown you in the past that I always put the label on the back of the envelope to save myself tape. A lot of people put it on the front of the envelope. So now you've got to put it on the front of the envelope, but you've also got the jagged edges where you open the envelope. You've got to tape that down and everything. And it takes a while to be able to secure the envelope you've got to cover up the tag and I didn't have this happen but I could definitely see it happening at some point you end up losing a tag you look down and you see the envelope has a label on it now you don't realize it's your own name and address on it but there is a label on it so then you put it out to be mailed and then it lines up coming back a couple of days later and maybe insult to injury maybe it comes back postage due to top it all off who knows um, so I could definitely see that being a problem but you're sitting there and you're doing all that and you're getting the envelope uh, all made up and then you take a look at it and it does not look professional at all. 
I think I ended up doing five to seven of them before I finally said, look, this is taking me far too long and it's just not worth the time to do it. Um, and again, it does not look good. Now, am I going to stop opening up the packages nicely and, and in the back of my head save them uh, in order to use them again? No, I will still continue to do that. Um, but I guess the way I look at them now is they're all in one area and they're emergency supplies. Uh, something or other happens and I you know, order some replacement supplies and for some reason or other they don't come in, I've got some backup supplies to be able to use if need be. But having tried it, do not waste your time. Again, other than on boxes and things like that, which are a different story. But with envelopes, don't waste your time trying to recycle them. Uh, save them for that, that rainy day, that emergency situation. But they do not work well uh, on a one-by-one -one regular basis. Just do not waste your time. Um, because I, I, I ran the numbers, and between you know bag, envelope, uh, backer, et cetera, et cetera, you're talking 20 to 25 cents probably into each item that I pack up. If it takes me an extra minute per item, you're getting into just not being worth it whatsoever from a, from a dollar-wise standpoint as well. And again, it does not look as good. So save the supplies. You just never know if you might need them at some point. Uh, but don't waste your time trying to use them or reuse them unless you absolutely have to. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you.